Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about virtual textures in Unreal Engine 5 and how they can improve the performance of your project. Virtual textures allow you to break large textures into smaller parts and load only the fragments visible to the player into memory. This significantly reduces memory load and improves overall performance. To enable virtual textures, open the project settings, go to the engine section, then to rendering. Find the virtual textures option and check the box to enable this feature. After that, restart the editor for the changes to take effect. Now let's see how to convert textures into virtual textures. Open the content browser, select the textures you want to convert and select convert to virtual texture. If the required textures are not displayed, reduce the texture size threshold parameter in the filter until they become visible. If automatic conversion does not work, open the texture manually and enable the virtual texture streaming option in its settings. Materials are usually converted automatically along with textures. After the conversion is complete, a folder with base textures will appear in your project. You can move this folder to a convenient location. If the material causes an error, open the base material, find the problematic texture, and replace it with Virtual Texture Sample. For example, replace Texture Sample Color with Virtual Color. Now a bit about the commands for debugging virtual textures. In the Unreal Engine console, you can use the r.vt.borders command to enable the display of virtual texture borders. A value of 1 enables borders and a value of 0 disables them. You can also use the stat virtual texturing command to display real-time statistics of virtual textures. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new videos. In the next tutorial, we will discuss enabling hardware ray tracing and using Lumen in your project. See you next time.